Oh, boy. Welcome back to The Price of Business. I'm your host, Kevin Price, talking to you about you and your business. Going to spend a little time uh, talking to our uh, next guest, Carl Hardesty, with a company called Hardesty LLC. And he recently contributed an article over at priceofbusiness.com, our ongoing series of helping individuals uh, learn more about how to take your business to the next level. And uh, we talked a, a little bit about uh, significant issues facing businesses today uh, over at uh, priceofbusiness.com. I encourage you to check out the article. And we liked this so much, we invited Carl to spend some time with us to elaborate. How are you, sir? I'm doing great, Kevin. Thanks. Kind of tell us a little bit about yourself. Kind of, kind of give us your elevator speech as well as well as your own personal story. Sure. Um, I run a um, national. We call it an executive services firm, and we provide skilled executives to companies from uh, emerging growth all the way up to uh, billion dollar public companies. Um, our firm is comprised mostly of CPAs and MBAs and uh, just experienced executives. We sort of um, own the CFO space. That's our our forte. And we uh, can deploy uh, experienced executives uh, to companies in literally, you know, overnight situations, or we can do a long-term executive search. So we have a bench of people that can go out and be deployed to help companies uh, in a time of need, whether that's growth need or uh, where uh, there's uh, some bad things going on, where maybe there's some cash flow issues. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What is the, um, what's the little, kind of give me a, a little bit more of an idea of uh, the type and size of companies that are, are uh, attractive clients for yours? Sure. Um, we typically uh, deal in the middle market. So I'm gonna, that's, a, that's a big range of companies and different uh, institutions to find middle market with different numbers. But I'm going to say 20 to 500 million in revenue is typically our sweet spot. We have some companies that are smaller, and we have some that are larger. We have a couple of uh, billion-dollar companies. Um, but we also deal a lot with the private equity community, and they are typically, their target companies that they're buying are typically those companies between 20 and 500 million. And to even narrow that range a little closer, I'm going to say 50 to 300 million. Okay. So, but, but certainly mid-market. Mid-market, classic mid-market. And uh, our people are experiencing that space. And uh, it's, you know, it's different than uh, being a, a CFO of a large, you know, Fortune 2000 company where you have a huge staff. So our people are very nimble and uh, utility players and can jump in and, and do a lot of things. Very cool. Very cool. Now, I notice you've got headquarters. Your headquarters is in Orange County, California. Uh, but you correct. have offices <laughs> all over the country. Uh, right. Talk a little bit about, uh, about the, you know, where you're located and why. Well, um, I live here in Newport Beach, California. I'm looking at the beautiful Pacific Ocean right now as, we, as we're speaking. Uh, and, you know, again, we chase a lot of these institutional investors, private equity firms, which are based all around the country in major markets, New York and San Francisco, Chicago, Dallas. There's a few in Houston. Uh, and, but their portfolio companies, the ones they buy, are all over the U.S. So it makes sense for us to be sort of spread around and have our people spread around so we can deploy uh, people quicker than, uh, you know, flying somebody from L.A. to New York. So uh, it's important for us to have people all over the country uh, relatively close to where these client situations are. Mm-hmm. Yeah, absolutely, no question about it. And uh, I think uh, it's an interesting footprint. How old is your company? We are uh, just celebrating our third anniversary, and uh, we're growing rapidly. I'm, I'm hoping to make uh, one of the uh, California fastest growing private company lists. We'll see. That comes out next week. I think we're going to make it, but I'm not sure where I'm going to place. Uh, and we're looking, uh, you know, we're growing through set up uh, de, no- de novo offices, and we're also looking at uh, other acquisitions or mergers. Yeah, very good, very good. What do you think are some of the biggest challenges that you see businesses facing out there? Well, the challenge right now is uh, if you have a company making money, there are um, plenty of uh, people who want to buy it, and the prices are probably at all-time high. So my counsel to uh, privately owned companies, if you were thinking about selling your company any time in the next five years, you should be doing it right now because the prices are ridiculous. I think people are going to look back and say, boy, I should have sold my company in you know 2014. Uh, 
you know, there were people, this is sort of similar to 2006 and seven when prices got real high and then they dipped. But we're sort of seeing unprecedented valuations of privately owned companies because there's so much money chasing so few deals and uh, the appetite for acquisition is, is very high. Um, so if you are, um, I mean, a lot of people aren't thinking about selling. And the issue that a lot of entrepreneurs and business owners um, face is when prices are high, they're not necessarily ready to sell. Uh, so our advice is always be ready to sell, always have your your house in order, uh, because when uh, somebody comes knocking and prices are high, you might not be ready. And then when you're ready, prices might be low or financing might be hard to get. Right now, buyers are sort of dictating the terms to lenders on uh, and there's competition to lend money, so it's it's a fantastic business environment for companies that are growing and have profits and want to sell. So your need isn't so much the uh, investors; you need uh, people who have deals to sell. Well, we uh, we help companies prepare for sale. A lot of these, uh, you know, if you have a twenty to hundred million dollar company, a lot of times they don't have a sophisticated executive who is skilled in the sale process or skilled in preparing a company for sale, and that's where we get a lot of our work. And a lot of times they wait too late to hire that skill because now uh, you've got a compressed time frame to get ready. And, the, you know, getting ready to sell a company is just like selling your house. You've got to prepare it for sale, stage it, make it look right, and do a little, uh, little, do a little maintenance and make it attractive. And uh, otherwise you're just going to lose millions of dollars uh, because um, when the buyers come in and look at due diligence, they're going to start poking holes in the company. Mm-hmm. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, you're uh, so you're always looking for uh, potential clients. They just need to be a good fit for you and people that have uh, the kind of uh, approach to business that complements yours. And so let me ask you: Is your company in growth mode today? We are very much in growth mode, and it's important for us to um, keep growing and have a lot of locations around the country. It just makes closing deals for us uh, much simpler when we have our talent uh, closer to where the prospective uh, client might be. So. We're very much in a growth mode. In fact, I'm hoping to place uh, fairly highly on some of the uh, California fastest-growing private company lists that are going to be coming out here over the course of the next month or two. Very good. Congratulations on uh, on that. Thanks so much for sp- uh, spending time with us, teaching us a little bit about what you're up to, and I look forward to uh, keeping track of what's happening in the future. Thank you. Thank you, Kevin. All right. Uh, by the way, you can learn more about him at HardestyLLC.com. I am Kevin Price. And you're listening to The Price of Business.